larger the range of gears you have, the larger the cage you will need. What size of the welder to fit the 1146 tooth cassette? Before selecting a derailleur, you must first determine your drivetrain capacity. The drivetrain capacity is the maximum amount of snag chain the rear derailleur cage can handle. You need to calculate the difference between the largest and smallest front and rear gears, and then adding those numbers together. The front only has one chain ring and it has 32 teeth. So there's no difference on the front gear. For a cassette, the largest and smallest sprockets have 46 and 11 teeth. So 46 minus 11, the difference is 35. 0 plus 35 equals 35. The drivetrain capacity is 35. According to the parameters from Shimano and SRAM, a long cage derailleur is likely needed for this setup. The cage of the derailleurs varies in length from one to the other, and they have different pulley sizes. The cage of the Shimano Alivio measures 80 mm and the pulley size is 50 mm. The cage of the Shimano STX measures 85 mm and the pulley size is 38 mm. The cage of the SRAM SX4 measures 95 mm and the pulley size is 40 mm. The cage of the Shimano Dior XT measures 100 mm and the pulley size is 40 mm. Which developer would fit best with the 1146 tooth cassette? Starting from the smallest to the biggest, let's check that out by putting them on one by one, and find out which one has more clearance between the cassette and the roller. A hanger extension has to be installed. The Shimano Alivio doesn't work well. The cage is too close to the cassette, and the chain is rubbing it. The Shimano STX works fine with some adjustments.
The SRAM SX4 provides very good clearance. The Shimano Dior ST also has good clearance, but not as much as the SRAM SX4 has. So in conclusion, to fit the 1146 tooth cassette, you will need to install a hanger extension, and also a long cage developer with at least 85mm in length.